Hey, everybody. Uh, we're not at YouTube. Sorry about that. But uh, we're still going to post this at YouTube in some fashion, uh, just not live. So we're going to still play this epic song challenge game. You know, we had the Super Bowl. We have the Oscars. And now the world is clamoring for another big event. And this is what the world will get. Rob Akampora. Akampora. Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, you got it, brother. All right. <laughs> and Tim Carr He's the egg. are going head to head in sort of a name that tune kind of battle. Uh, how, how confident are you guys feeling? Oppenheimer. No, that's not it. Uh, Al Pacino was supposed to do that. He, you, you did it better than he did, but, uh, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough audience he was dealing with. <laughs> oh, man. It was, it was an interesting night. You know, it's one of those nights where I think Tim and I both at some point will be in that room. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably a very fun room. You want to reveal the nominees? Who cares? You're <laughs> Al Pacino. If he just did a hoo-ha Oppenheimer, no one complains. Yeah, well, people complain. <laughs> That's Who the problem. Cares? Everyone we complains about it. everything. Al Pacino can do whatever he wants. He's earned it. Let him rip. I loved it when <laughs> Nicolas Cage was like, yeah, I go blind too. Who cares? He was great. They were all great. Al Pacino, he's fine. I, everybody who's worried about that needs to not worry about that. It was so. all, think, it was think all of it this way. Al is going to add something to his career. It's called a meme. Yes, That's right. There you go. They probably already <laughs> are. Al Pacino memes, but this is the newest and greatest and latest. Um, he's the, he's we're probably best. not going to have any John Cena moments, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm not going to give you a John Cena moment. I can't predict if either of you are going to give us a John Cena moment, but I doubt we're going to get a John <laughs> Cena moment. So just I did lift, I did lift weights today, so uh, maybe. <laughs> all right. Well, we got a maybe for Tim. So <laughs> that's what you came for. <laughs> not the songs. That, that may be. In your future. I, I promise not to drive the viewership down this zero. My clothes are staying on. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I, I will make that promise as well. Tim has not, but I'm, so <laughs> anything goes. Anything right, goes with so, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Anything goes with Tim. Come on now. <laughs> absolutely. I got my lucky salt and pepper shirt on. I'm ready. I am ready. Oh, good luck. And I got my I got my radio station shirt on. So if I embarrass myself, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh god, it's amazing. I need to get one of those hoodies. They're great. Oh yeah, you yeah. I'll get you ninety five nine the rat shirt for sure. I gotta take care of that for you, Timmy. So Rob, how how long have you been a DJ? Good lord. Um, let's see. My first shift was Halloween night, nineteen eighty eight. I am literally just out of college. Um, first song I ever played, and only because it was Halloween night at eight o'clock. First song was. My ministry every day is Halloween, and it just went from there. Um, it's been That's a been weird a and crazy ride. I am thankful to start at Alternative and have nine years at one of the forefront stations in the country, WHCG FM 106.3, and actually have one of the biggest East Coast stations under my belt for 10 years at 93.7 WSTW in Wilmington, where I met that maniac that is here with you, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, best story I can tell you is that I don't know Tim from Adam. My boss to tell me, hey, listen, there's a bunch of guys that are going to come in here. They're promoting a movie that's coming out. Yeah, what the hell? So Tim's there. JJ, who wrote the film, JJ Garvin, is there. And then there's this guy on the phone by the name of Jervis, who you may remember from uh, Survivor a very, very long time ago. And it's just one of those things where I realized about 20 minutes into this, I've lost control of my own damn show. And yet, phones were ringing off the damn hook. So I just awesome. said, go on with this. We're just going to have some fun. And it was. It really was. It was one of those. Really deep cuts. I mean, we were just getting after it that night. That was just wonderful. It was beautiful chaos. Um, Rob is actually not giving himself enough credit. He has been the forefront. He hangs out with Matt Pinfield, who was like 120 minutes guru, who was that voice, the way that dude just knew everything like a robot. You know? TV icon. <laughs> he's an icon. Oh, he is. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, it's in, that's who Rob rolls with. So it's, it's, All right. he, he's and you're rolling a ministry song as your first song is like the coolest thing. <laughs> I was and, and looking back on it now. Absolutely. You don't realize it at the time, but then you look back now and go, and what's even making it more full circle for me is the radio station I'm working at about now, 95, nine, the rat, they'll do rat fest this summer. Rob zombies on the bill and ministry 
is actually going to be the opener. So it's all coming full circle. It's oh, crazy. Full circle. So yeah, yeah, as- I mean, it's a, it's a uh, great. It's going to be a great bill. Rob Zombie, great- Alice yeah. Cooper, Ministry, and Filter. It's a great, day, great day of music. I've seen a couple awesome. of those bands. Rob Zombie is the ultimate showman. I was so impressed. I wanted to go in. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to hear some of those songs, but then I was just impressed with how he could work a crowd and everyone's in for a real treat with rap fest. So oh, a little, absolutely. I might have to make my way up to the North Jersey. I think you're coming September. I think it's a matter of you, the wife, myself, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to enjoy that. Yeah. That'll be a fun day. Yeah. I think you time. need to meet Rob. I think you do it in it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's, let's set this up. So as a DJ, we can assume that you know a little bit about music. It would be awkward if you played a song and said, your guess is as good as mine, audience, every time. So I'm assuming you know what you're talking about. I better. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim, our friend Tim over here, as I've gotten to know him, every time I've played this kind of game with him, he's always getting almost everything. And not only that, he, he adds like a, a factoid <laughs> along with it. So it's uh, so this is going to be a really good battle. Now, I know kind of got an idea of the music you kind of, guys listen to mostly and i didn't i didn't want to give you layups so i mixed in some some a little easier some maybe a little tougher make the challenge a little more challenging so like that uh we're gonna we're just gonna jump into this it's gonna be like name name your tune i'm gonna give them a clue about a song they're gonna bid on how quickly they think they can guess it and then the first person who bids the lowest will go, and we'll see what happens. Are we ready to try this? Let's do this. Yeah, we're ready. Right. Chuckle for charity. Let's do this. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, let me not uh, play the song yet. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Tim. I forgot <laughs> completely to tell everyone what we're doing here. It's, I'm throwing you layouts now. <laughs> oh, I'm so lost. The YouTube live thing threw me so off. So we are here. We're playing for uh, the YouTube channel, Chuckle for Charity. Uh, the whole goal of the, the channel is to try to get monetized, and we're going to share 100% of that monetization money with all the participating charities that we want to partner with. Um, so we'll, you know, we'll do screenshots. We'll, we'll show, be as transparent as possible. We want you to trust us and, and, and really feel confident about what we're doing. And so on this channel, we're going to be posting all kinds of entertaining videos. It could be comedy sketches. It could be challenges like this. It could be whipped cream challenges that we've done before, song challenges. So uh, any kind of funny stuff. We're talking with Tim, maybe like stupid human tricks kind of stuff with kids or adults. You know, anything that gets a laugh or a chuckle. Yeah. We want to we do videos and we want to get monetized and we want to start sharing all that money with all these worthy causes. So um, let's talk about it. We didn't talk. Do we? We've established some charities on the channel already but do you guys have any in mind that you particularly want to play for or we could go with the ones uh we've been uh playing for it's up to you i'm good with what you're doing steve i think you you're doing a great thing for these charities um i think that you know transparency is always an important thing and the more people get to watch the videos the more they're going to know about what you're doing so definitely stick with the pocket of what you're doing for sure Okay, so why don't we play today, Tim and I have been discussing this one, a, a charity called Sunrise. Um, Ken Jung from The Mass Singer and, and The Hangover Movies and a bunch of other things is, was named the ambassador of this charity. And what wow. they do is uh, kids who have uh, dealing with illnesses like cancer and things like that, they create like camps for them so that they can have really great experiences um, wherever they're living. They can go to these camps and just have the time of their life. And it's all paid for. They don't, the families don't have to worry about it or anything. It's a really wonderful charity. So uh, we would love to, I actually have a call to get, so oh, you are? Okay. That we're doing this and we just decided to do this right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spur of the second, you know, we're playing for them. Um, yeah, yeah. I figured tomorrow, I'll tell right now because we, we would love to get Ken Jong involved in doing some kind of uh, fun videos with us. So we have some ideas and, uh, so that's what we're going to try today. So, all right, this first song, I'm going to say it may be considered like new wave, early 80s. I believe it's a British band. I think this year the song came out was 1981. And that's all I'm giving you. <laughs> so, uh, Rob, why don't you bid first? 
All right, we'll go go conservative. I'll name that tune in 15 seconds. Let's start there. All right, Tim, what do you got? Let's do 12. 12. Oh, look at that. He's throwing the gauntlet down, saying, I think yeah, I got Yeah, he's throwing 12. I'm just like I said, my head, my head is trying to like us. <laughs> All right. Don't forget, I also know Tim is good in this, in this genre that you picked as the first oh. one. So that's another reason I got to start thinking about this and go, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'll name that tune in ten seconds. All right, is that are you allowed to rebid like that? Is that yeah? We continue until somebody calls somebody else out. All right, this is getting exciting. Ten seconds now is the new bid. Tim, what are you feeling? Eight, eight, eight seconds. Eight seconds. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> you know what's the first one? I need to get some information. Tim, name that tune. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> you are ready. Here, I remember I play poker. Hold on now. <laughs> and this is my poker face. It's terrible. Now, <laughs> we we may have to play around a little bit. Unfortunately, Zoom isn't always great with audio, so he may not hear the song at all for eight seconds. So oh, we have great. to say then, then it's the sounds of silence. There's the win. Oh, I'm getting yeah, you have to hear the song for eight so seconds. So give me a thumbs up when you hear the song. And that's when the eight seconds will start. Are we ready? That's fair. That's very fair. Here we go. Give a thumbs up when you hear it. All right. That was... I believe around eight seconds. Hard to get it on the exact, but Tim, do you have oh. a guess? Tempted by squeeze. Yeah, I, great knew I knew it. I knew we'd get that. Yep. That is correct. <laughs> that is a terrific guess. That is not a like band. a super, super famous band. They're a very great band. I love them, but uh, not Absolutely. a lot of people know about them. Also so. had a life of that song because of the use in the reality bite soundtrack if anybody recalls mm -hmm. the factoid i told you you were gonna, gonna get a factoid. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you one more which i think was very interesting in the 90s uh squeeze went out in a very different outfit at that point different and tilbrook the founding members went out with michael penn amy mann and a guy named paul carrick now paul is the voice on the song tempted and they did an acoustic tour across the country i was lucky enough to see it it's still one of my favorite shows of all time because it was literally squeeze music, a little Amy Mann, a little Michael Penn, and Paul sings Tempted, but then blows the crowd away by pulling out his old standard, How Long Has This Been Going On by Ace. And that wow. just blew everybody away. Yeah, it was one of those moments where you sit there and go, I was glad I attended this concert. <laughs> yeah. That was that awesome. Love me so it cool. really was to me. It was Man. just one of those really cool thing they did in the 90s because it was – Literally an all acoustic thing. So you had three acoustic guitars and Paul playing piano. That was it. Made it even better. That show, my brother. That sounds fun. Yeah. Let, let me let me ask you this. How quickly do you think you would have guessed that if we were just I would have gotten it in, I honestly would have named it in three seconds. I think Tim probably would have too. I think it was one of those I got some information and gone, yeah, eight was too much. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. So I started as soon as they could clearly hear it, like it was tinty at first. And then okay. as soon as I, I heard just a, a drum, I'm like, I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but then I, then I heard Eric. Right. And, that, that, yeah, that's the Meanwhile, Zoom Meanwhile, he's up you. one nothing. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, because he, he underbid you. That You both knew it, but he underbid you. So it's not yeah, a... Yeah, yeah. I, you I know, gave you both much. knew the that, song. I right. learned a very valuable lesson. I don't give Tim Carr too much in seconds here. I'm telling right. you. Now, Tim is going to bid first this time. Okay, your Correct. next song clue. Classic rock. Female. Start the bidding, Tim. I'll start that bidding at 12 seconds, my friend. 12 seconds. All right. Rob, what do you got for us? Well, my brain is already going through every female classic rock artist, so I can, Me too. Think, say I can name that tune in nine seconds. Ah. I can name that tune in seven Oh, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Not going to make the same mistake twice. I go, I'm going six seconds, Tim. I'll name it in six. Six seconds. Five. 
Oh, oh, I didn't think he was going to do it. Wow, I didn't think so. I thought I was going to get the six <laughs> on fun. that. This is so fun. Yeah, this is right. fun. You can do it for Rob. I know you, you can. Know, you know what, Steve? In the in the effort of fun that we're having and in the effort of charity, I'll name the tune in four seconds. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, I'll do the Ric Flair four, and then I'm going to tell you to name that tune. All okay. right. Pressure's on me. I'm going class. And I work for a rock station. If I blow this, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, again... Uh, I need you. I need you to give me a thumbs up, and that's when we'll start the actual count. Got it. Okay. All right. So let me cue this thing up. Sure. We have our parameters. We know what we're dealing with. Right. Okay. So here we go. I got okay. it. All right. Um, that was four seconds. Why? I, I, this is just a wild guess. Um, you're so vain. Oh, come on, Rob. You know her name, for God's sake. Um, Carly. Make it, baby, your partner, baby. Carly. Oh, yeah. I got, Car yeah, there we go. Carly Simon. Thank you. And I'm probably uh, wrong. Incorrect. No, <laughs> yeah. not Carly Simon. <laughs> still got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I still got it wrong. Exactly. Uh, well, we... I'll give you the, the other kind of clue is once you start hearing this person sing, you'll probably be like, I got it. The song title. Yeah, that's what's going to kill me. Give it to Let me hear it. Let me hear it's, it. Oh, so, so, so Tim, Tim doesn't get Tim's to go. Got the with, point, but I got to hear this now. Okay. Okay. All right. You hear it? All right, let's see. Right. Just for just for our own fun, Rob, <laughs> you got a guess? No, for I blanked. Us? I totally blanked on that. I'm I'm embarrassed to say I blanked. Tim, do you do you have a guess for us? Is that Janis Joplin? That House is right Janis Joplin. Right and do you know the name of the song? House of the Rising Sun. Nope. It sounds just like it's called a. Uh, Cosmic Blues, and the oh. reason why I, I'm Ooh. a Janice fan, but I wasn't as familiar with this song, but I saw in the series Loki. I don't know if you've ever seen that series. No, I haven't seen Loki yet. Oh, wow. Uh, in one of their episodes, this was the end credit song, and I was like, oh my god, I, I forgot. I remember hearing that Janice song maybe a million years ago, but I forgot <laughs> about it, and I loved it. And so amazing. I was like, that one's yeah. kind of stuck in my head. No, that, that was an interesting pull. And the only thing that saved me is that I have never played Janice Joplin on any station I've worked at. So I'm off the hook and it's set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. You you know your you know certain genres like you get in two seconds. So I'm throwing you yeah, as a Yeah, head. like I said, if you gave me three seconds, I would add squeeze. No, I get Janice Joplin. Way to go, Rob. Oh my God. Yeah. He's up to no all I know is he's up to nothing now. The Janice deep cut too. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, here's I, Dave, you said you had some curveballs. I'll give you this. That was a curveball. That was a good one. Okay. If we both heard her voice, we would both know that was Janice. Yeah, yeah. That, but that's... I wouldn't, I like you, Tim, would never have gotten the title. Never, no. have gotten yeah, that's it's like the Rising Sun. I was like, I don't know. It is a very <laughs> obscure title. Okay, so this next one, New Jersey. That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> <laughs> I get to start the bidding on this one too, and I'm a Jersey guy. And I'm like going, "All right, I already know five bands he could possibly yeah. go with. Let's see which one he's picking." I'll name You're it. So in ten, I'll name it in ten seconds. I'll name that song in seven seconds. I'm married to a oh. Jersey. Oh, that's true. I'll name it in six, five. Tim, you're cutthroat. <laughs> Yay, yeah, cutthroat! I don't have a choice. I'll name it in four. Rick Flair, go have some fun. Oh, yeah. right. Give me the Flair moment. There All right, give me it. Jersey. Okay, let me cue this one up. Up, oh, up. Oh. Let me know when you hear it. One, two, three, and four. All right. Wow. Four seconds. <laughs> I'm like, which Springsteen song is it? Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like going. You got that part right. <laughs> I know that. I'm trying to figure out which one it is in my head because four seconds wasn't enough. I un I underbid. It's yeah. one of those, you know it's Springsteen just by hearing it, but which one is it? 
Yeah. And it's just long gonna, Bruce intros, too. Bro. Yeah, I'm going to just, this is just going to be a random guess. And I'm like, oh, it's not Rosalie. Oh, man, what am I thinking of? Can I give another clue or are we no clues? Yeah. Go ahead. One another 1975 okay. was when this okay, song first record, came out. First record then. The East Street Shuffle. I'm going Jungle Land. Jungle Land is correct. <laughs> Rob is on the board. It was my head kind of running through that riff in my head. I'm going, it's got to be, it's got, you know. <laughs> just sort of playing myself. Early Bruce records lately. I've been enjoying them. There, there's something to them. They're nice and chill. You mm. put them on. They're great. Great. I, 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 interesting great thing, Steve, Steve, this summer, um, Springsteen's doing something very unique um, in Asbury Park. There's a festival called See Here Now. Um, we were kind of surprised, as many people were, to find out that he'll headline day two out on the beach in Asbury Park. So I think there's something very poignant about having the boss and the East Street Band be on the damn beach right in Asbury Park, right in front of Convention Hall. It's going to be a, really a surreal moment for uh, the whole area when that happens this year. I, I'm, let me let me do a over under on how many times each of you have been to a Springsteen show. I'm going to get Rob first. I'm going to guess seven you're close you're really close six is the number six. and uh, ironically three of them were unannounced shows that he showed up at so no yeah luck. i i've been if lucky enough to catch him at a place like convention hall in asbury park or at the stone pony in asbury park and then of course a couple of times on tour um and, and if you're intimate, going intimate shows though i will say bigger difference so just something about him in a smaller venue was just mind-blowing and if you're going to the next one that would make seven so <laughs> yeah seven, that's what i said well, you're really correct. close yeah, yeah. and Jealous. tim i'm gonna say you've gone to you've seen three seen one but it was one. The at the time was the longest springsteen show of all time so uh, I, I, oh, oh i remember this oh my god yeah but it was the philly show and like he ran out of songs and just started doing other songs and it was just wild i was like bruce I'm paying more money for babysitting than the tickets right now. <laughs> so that's why the funny story four and a half hours. Steve, the funny story is that that concert Tim was at made national headlines because it really was considered one of the longest concerts everybody's ever done. Period. So yeah. I mean, it was great. There, I, yes. I didn't have that time at all, except when I had to pay the baby. Of of those longest concert times, he probably has a few in the top five, if not all of the top five. I, I would right. think. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. All right. Got, got I'm stamina. on the board. I got one. <laughs> well earned. All right. Well this, earned. This next one, we're going out of a genre. You may like this genre, but it's out of the genres we've discussed that you definitely do know. Your one word clue Motown. Ooh. And Tim, you're up bidding first. I can do this in 12 seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to tread cautiously and say 11 seconds. I'll name that tune in. Okay. Tim? I do am I going to tread cautiously, and I'm going to say I can name that tune in 10 seconds. Okay. See, that was, now the strategy comes in of like going, is giving Tim 10 seconds on a Motown tune, which could easily be, like you just did, a rare Janis Joplin song or something that we just totally know from Hitsville. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> that's the mind I, games you know i'm playing with nine you. seconds i gotta go nine i go nine. nine seconds i'll go eight. Oh, look at this it's getting it's getting yeah exciting. See, now your brain starts going is eight seconds too much remember last time i gave it to him boom wow do i take it in seven do i give tim the eight well you know what time to give tim a standing eight count name that tune all, <laughs> all right tim Eight seconds for you. I think I've given him too much. I just got a funny feeling. I love Breeze. I use Breeze. <laughs> you think it's too much? It's you think... no, I'm <laughs> okay, we're I got the ten minute countdown. I guess we've been chatting a little while, so I don't... <laughs> three songs. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. All right, there you go. What do you got for us? I'll be there. Tops or temptations, four tops or temptations, four tops or tempta temptations. 
Incorrect. Stop, Soto. I'm going to try this just for fun. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. No, Tim had it close. It's reach out. I'll be there by the four tops. He four said tops. temptations <laughs> instead of four tops. I he did. said four tops. He would have taken it. So point where two, two. <laughs> two, two. How about Time that? Time to tie. This is it. <laughs> All right. I, I think it was going to come down to the tiebreaker. Here we go. So many great songs by both those bands. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So this last one, I'm going to, the clue I think I'm going to give you, I'll say 70s. That's one clue. Okay. One of the hardest rockingest bands of all time. That's where you're getting. <laughs> well, that's, that's open to interpretation and Tim starts the bidding. Okay. You can do this song in eight seconds. Eight Whoa. seconds. Whoa, I wasn't ready for that. Okay. <laughs> Rocking band from the 70s. I'll name that tune in seven. Seven seconds. Six, and I hope it's a juicy guitar riff that I can help. <laughs> I know, I know where you're going with that. And if I'm thinking what I think it may, I got to do it. I'll name it in five. Have that, my friend. Yeah. All right. Let's hope my gut is right on this because I do have one band that's in my head. I've got two. Okay. All right, we ready? Here we ready. go. Hey, put the thumbs up. All right. I believe that was five seconds. Did were you able yeah, to hear? Yeah, that was definitely five seconds. That was definitely five seconds. I'm like, that's a juicy guitar riff. Yeah, it was the juicy guitar riff, and I'm like, I caught a little bit of the vocal, and the vocals are letting me go to ACDC, and the question is, which one? Yep, Am I gonna pull this out like I pulled out Springsteen? There's the question. You got the band. Yeah, I, I that I knew, and the funny part was, it was the guitar. Hearing a little bit of the vocal gave me ACDC. Now I'm trying to figure out which ACDC song is it. Da -da -da -da. Remember the second clue, because I think that helps a little bit. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing. I mean, um, um, not Hell's Bells, I know that. Just by the riff, I'm like, I'm eliminating so many songs in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big Balls. You know, it's the only thing I can think of. It is uh, not no, Big Balls. I, I know, I, I drew a blank. I drew a blank. Dirty Deeds? It is not Dirty Deeds. I, I don't I know. Think both of those may have been. Deeds, that's what, yeah. Yeah, this was Whole Lotta Rosie, 1977. Oh, yeah. Uh, that one, I know my coworkers will not let me live down. <laughs> <laughs> that song does get requested a lot on the rat from time to time. So it's like, I should have known that. Uh, yo, At least I <laughs> would you give yourself five seconds? That's yeah, not here you know what? It, it, honestly, that was one where eight would have done the trick. If I got a little more of the vocal, that was, yep. that was the key. The riff, you're right. The guitar riff gave you HDDC. That tab of the vocal clinched it. I didn't get enough of the song vocal to know it. it like, right. That's uh, exactly what I was thinking when you went that low. I said, oh, I think they'll get ACDC, but without hearing him sing a tiny bit. You're right. But the problem being is that Tim bit it so well that it's like, if I give him the eight seconds, I think he might have gotten it. You know, that's the thing. It's that, Ugh! <laughs> yeah, see, this format is not just how well you know music. It's how well you bid, really. So, no, absolutely. That's what no, makes I, it. I, I, I hope more uh, more people come on and do this. because Obviously, we're having a lot of fun with this. Yeah. I'm glad we've done this. And, uh, you know, please, if you're watching this, spread the word around, spread the video around. And yeah, this really. way, we'll help Steve also get some more guests. Because I'll tell you something, you come on here and do this kind of format, especially when I'm doing it with a friend of mine, it just becomes like, okay, comedy is going to ensue. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, this was, it worked out well. We couldn't get the YouTube live, but this was, you know, we still did it. We had fun and hopefully we'll, we will get the word out and, and uh, get, start uh, raising money for worthy causes. So all good in the stuff. Meantime. And My in the meantime, you know, go ahead, so if you're gonna get you're gonna get ragged on for Rosie, I'm gonna get ragged on for not, for missing the four tops over the Temptations when I had. Most oh, okay, that's a fair point. That's we're fair both gonna. Point. Don't worry. <laughs> it was Look, I'll do anything with this guy. I mean, uh, like I said, it, we've had a blossoming friendship on and off for so many years. I'm glad we reconnected in the last few years. It's been an absolute pleasure because you don't realize sometimes when you have a moment like we did back in the '90s. 
that it would be this bonding thing between Tim and I. And it's been an absolute pleasure to get to know him. I, I look forward to spending some time with his wife and his family at some point for sure. And um, yeah, I, I will say this. He will be coming down to New Jersey for a concert. There's no doubt about that now. No doubt. One of the eight hour Springsteen shows. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to, how do I get you tickets for see here now? Now I got to figure that out. Okay. <laughs> That's a tough, play- tough gig to get. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, they may kick us off any second now. So I want to say thank you to both of you. I really appreciate it. We all had a good time. And yeah, hopefully we get to do more of these. It was a lot of fun. So thank you guys. Goodbye, everybody. You- Thank you for having me. Please look up Sunrise and all the good they do. And I will tell them all about this tomorrow. And uh, and, and yeah, post- please look up and let us know about your causes. We'll come back and do this again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There'll be a, there has to be a rematch, no doubt about it. <laughs> yes. We definitely gotta definitely gotta do that. And I'll put all the de- everything in the description box about Sunrise and uh, the songs and everything. So it'll all be there for you to digest. So hey, good time had by all. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. So good to see you. Likewise.